I know probably everybody probably wondering why I'm choosing to speak up now because honestly, this is something that I have kept with myself for years. Um, it wasn't until probably like two years ago, a year and a half ago that I told my mom about it and I told her to kind of get it off my chest because for me, it was more so a lot of things that I was finally opening up to do like um, long story short, basically, what you <laughs> Cry. go ahead. Sorry. Basically, I'll just start from when it happened, when I met him, um, I met him like around the beginning of 2016. Who did you meet um, in 2016? RT boss. So I met him around like 2016. Um, and it was like a group of people that I met along with him. Um, throughout that time, me and like him, my mom and him got like close because he was basically doing what he, you know, claimed he do, like spiritually leading her. Um, so the first incident that happened, we had went to Miami, but we had drove there. Um, at the time, me and my mom, we couldn't fly there or fly back because of like personal reasons. With that being said, the person that drove us down there to drive us back, they basically started saying their car was acting up, so we were stuck down there. So at the time, she was cool with him and she was explaining the story of how we were stuck down there. So he offered to come pick us up. He came in this, I guess, I think it was an SUV. It was like one of them eight seater, eight seater trucks. It was me, my mom, my sister my best friend and my sister's father. And he had came along with somebody else. Throughout the trip, like each time that we would stop, if I was sitting like in the back seat, he would come in the back seat. Hello? You're freezing up. Yeah, you froze up a while ago. Sorry about that. What was the last thing? Um, you were driving, you were on a trip. Every time you go in the back seat, you could also come so in the back seat. Each time where I switched seats, he would switch seats too. Um, one of the time we stopped at the gas station, he basically came in and he he did it to me and my best friend. So it's like, he pulled me to the side and was like, I'm feeling something in your spirit. And I was just like, no, what are you talking about? Then he was basically proceeded to say, I know you're gay. And I know you don't want your family to know. At the time, I was, like, in the closet. Um, I feel like everybody that has Caribbean parents know how it is coming out to Caribbean parents. So that was one of my biggest fears growing up. Like, with that, that being said, halfway through the trip, when the trip was finishing, I fell asleep, and I woke up, and... So, like his hands. How old were you? How old were you at that time? Um, I was around seventeen. Seventeen. I was around yeah. like seventeen. Okay. Um. I don't know how so to. Turn, I woke up. They're telling me to turn off the comments, but I don't know how to. How do I turn off the comments, guys? I'm not, this not is, sure. This is a question. No question. How do I turn the comments? Off Honestly, the, the comments is not bothering me because okay. this is something that, like, if I wanted to speak about this, I could have spoke about this before when it happened. I would have never waited years. My mother just found out two years ago. This happened right. in 2017. Yeah. So after that incident happened, I woke up and I seen his hands on me. It was kind of, I pushed him away. And it was like, I stayed to myself the rest of the ride. So and just to be clear, you're saying he knew that you, he knew what you were right. and him come and try using it. So at the no. time he knew, but your family did not know. Correct. With that being said, after that trip, I think we stopped at his house in Delaware, where I think we met his, with his wife or whatever the case is. Um, that day, he went by his way. We went back home, whatever the case is. A couple months later, almost a year. They said 
Um, so you should clear it up. Were you 17 or 16? Because they heard at the time when you met him, you were 16. I was turning 17. Okay. So, so with that being said, and I said, I said 2016 is when I met him and when I went on the trip. Right. The whole okay. incident to where everything happened, it happened later on in 2017 because we seen him again. Yeah. My mom was so cool he molested them. you in 2017, but you met him in 2016. Right. But you're getting there right. to the story. We just right. want to clear that up. Right. I'm just trying to explain how the little things happened. that happened that led there. Okay.